my journey has been very different. I was taught to be honest, never be corrupt. My husband felt that being honest is a curse in this corrupt bureaucracy. That was the time we decided that we are going to study law. But the journey has not been easy. You all must be knowing about Lavasa. After independence, the only hill station which has been created in India. Lavasa has come up in an area which is environmentally very fragile. The ecosystem is very sensitive and it would have been better if the Western Ghats had not been tampered with. You can see how corruption comes to play. Maharashtra Minister Mr. Ajit Pawar took land which was owned by tribals and it was taken by the government for irrigation purpose. The law says and there is a Supreme Court guideline that if any land which is acquired for a public purpose, it cannot be given for commercial purpose. The minister decided to take law in his own hands and for vested interest, almost 140 hectares of land worth hundreds of thousands of crores was given to Lavasa Corporation for a monthly rent of 23,000 rupees for a period of 30 years. 20% of the shares were owned by Sharat Pawar's daughter Supriya Sule and her husband Sadanand. And these shares, 100 rupee shares, later on went to become a corpus of 10,000 crores. This is a clear-cut case of corruption, but neither did the government raise their voice, nor did the Anti-Corruption Bureau, whose duty was to have investigated the case. We brought this matter to light. We held a press conference and we said how Lavasa Corporation is all under the blessing of Mr. Sharad Pawar. But the bigger issue is that the whistleblower in this case, Mr. Ramesh Kumar, when he raised this issue and pointed out to, to the irregularities, Mr. Ramesh Kumar was harassed. He was not given a post-retirement job. I would like that these corruption issues which are highlighted by activists, action is taken on them and the activists who raise their voice, they require protection. The real culprit of all Malays in the society is corruption. In one word, it is corruption that kills. The people who are fighting for justice, they should be given protection, they should be given society support. The journey has been satisfying, it has been fulfilling because I did not kill my conscience, I stood up for what is right and I have been fighting corruption from day one.